Uh, let's jump over to the NFL, though. A uh, lot going on right now. Dallas has lost another quarterback. It's only going to be for, for about a week, but uh, Andy Dalton took a mean hit last week and uh, caught a concuss- concussion. So now we will have the, the third string uh, quarterback, the rookie, uh, facing facing the Eagles in, um, in a game that will, will, will dictate who takes over the first place in the worst division in football right now. This is one of them games that I wouldn't even be surprised if they just end in a tie. That's how bad both these teams are right now. Um, the Cowboys, for some reason, though, they, they've had a recent history of this luck where backup quarterbacks and undrafted quarterbacks become stars. And I'm not saying this kid Danucci is going to follow that path, but we saw that with, with uh, Tony Romo. We saw it with Dak Prescott. And if this kid lights it up tonight and then lights it up again next week, because it's, it's a possibility Andy Dalton may miss next week as well. We may be looking at it at another situation of an uh, you know a, a lower end quarterback, a third string quarterback who was drafted in the seventh round, becoming a starter for the Cowboys. And listen, at, at this point, I, I don't I don't even know who I want to see come out of the NFC East. As you said, the division is so bad, I don't even know who I want to even see come out. I did a top five Super Bowl contenders ranking recently. Obviously, I didn't list anybody in the NFC because I don't think anybody in the NFC is worthy of even making the playoffs in the East and then the NFC East. in the East NFC East. Yeah. No team is worthy of even making the playoffs. I don't think. And I think a season like this is going to really make the league look at this division winner home field advantage thing. Um, because again, the, everyone in the NFC East is sorry right now. None of them deserve to go. They have all been horrible from the top to the bottom. And it's unfortunate that one of these teams will win the division and have a, have a, a home game for the first round of the playoffs. It, you know, and, and, it, and it sucks. It's, it's some real BS because it's not deserving at all when you see the, the, the work that these other teams, I mean, you talk about the, the, the NFC West, you could all four of those teams could be in the playoffs and somebody's not going to make it because we have to have the the, the division winner from the NSC East in this thing. So it, it, it's kind of crazy. I don't even like the, the teams are so bad. Like you said, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who to look at in this game. You know what I mean? Like even with the, the third string quarterback, they got as good a chance as anybody to win this game. Unfortunately, we're going to get an NFC team, NFC team that has a winning record and maybe even 10 wins who won't make it um, because crazy. Said, all, all four of those teams in the West are on pace to win 10 games. So you yeah. could have one of those teams go 10 and six and it's like, nah, you're not going to make it because an eight and eight Dallas team or an eight and eight Philly team is in the playoffs. And not only are they in the playoffs, like you said, they're going to get a, a home game uh, at the start of the playoffs. So um, I think the NFL does need to reevaluate that a little bit. I mean, there is no exact science to change it. We know this happens all the time. There's always that one division that's always bad. But the NFL has yeah. got to figure out a way to not penalize some of the other teams that could make the playoffs. I'm not saying that we can't have a representative out of the East. We should. But you damn sure should not have a playoff game. There, there should be some stipulation as like, all right, you won the division, but we can't reward you by giving you a playoff team. Because we're, we're on the verge yeah. of seeing Dallas and Philly win the division. And they may be playing the Seahawks, and the Seahawks got to go to their place. You know, yeah, and that's the, crazy, or, right? Or, you know, the Seahawks might have to go there, or the Saints might have to go on the road. And it's like those are teams that's probably going to win 10, 11 games, and they got to yep. play you at your place. No, yeah, that's, that's horrible. That that that's horrible. Um, I I don't I don't know if the if the, the Cowboys are officially done with the season if they've given up or not, but they have traded uh, defensive end Everson Griffin over. To uh to Detroit, sending him back to a division that he's actually familiar with. Um, I don't know how much that trade helped him this week because uh <laughs> they, they didn't look that good against your your, your Colts uh today. But um, you know, moving forward, I guess it is a pretty good pickup. But that 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 division is is tough with the with the Bears playing the way they they've played this season. Uh, the Packers. So and and they and they lost today too. So everybody's kind of still in it. Yeah, uh, the Everson Griffin trade, um, I mean, first and foremost, uh, we know he dealt with uh, some depression over the last year, so we hope everything's all right with him mentally. 
And we hope that the trade had nothing to do with anything going on personally. We hope that it was just purely on the field and they, they decided to move on from him. Um, but uh, the critic in me also has to wonder, because we know over the last week and a half, we've heard this talk about guys criticizing the defensive game plan and guys saying coaches aren't coaching it up right. And then we see Everson Griffin get traded. So I, I have to wonder, was he one of those guys that was openly questioning the coaching? Um, and that's why he was sent out. Because as you said, it's, it's a little shocking that you would trade him at this point. The defense has been horrible. And you're trading away a defensive end who was a former pro bowler. Like you would think that's one of the guys you would try to hold on to to turn things around. I just think that, you know, things are so bad right now. They look at this team and even if you win a division, you know, you're more than likely not making that out of the first round with the team as constructed. The defense has been horrible uh, this season. And that's, a, that's including, you know, including Griffin. So, you know, I mean, are you, you know, you got to be prepared for next season when you make a, a trade like that happen right now. Because, again, it's just uh, is, is a pro bowler we're talking about right now. But the defense has just been so horrible as a whole. And it's not just him. You know, we spoke about, you know, a couple of weeks ago, what was it, Xavier Rhodes, who was talking about the effort and, in, 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 you know, what do people want us to play you know what I'm saying? That way, all, all game. I, I got to hold on, hold on. I got to stop you because you you can't be putting smart on my man named Xavier Rose with us with the coach. You're talking about Xavier oh, Woods. Oh, Xavier Woods. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Xavier Woods. Yeah. Don't don't put yeah. smart on my man name. He playing good for us at Indy. He playing good for us at Indy. It wasn't Xavier Rose, my but apologies. I know who you meant though. I know who you meant. My though. apologies. Yeah. So you know when we talk about the effort, and then we we look last week in the uh, you know in, in that um, that Seahawks. Cardinals game and you see Russell Wilson throw what should have been a pick six but DK Metcalf tracks this guy down not giving up on the play ultimately stops the you know stops him gets the tackle and they don't score on that drive so when you talk about you know that, that effort I mean she was a lot of guys should be up out of that, that that Cowboys defense if that's the case because I think with them at this point I think they mentally they're done so, you know, when, when you have when you have the, the defense playing as bad as they've played and, and kind of canceling out everything that Dak does, I'm not even talking about Andy Dalton because this has been downhill from the Dak injury, but everything that he was doing, Dak was putting up MVP numbers before he got hurt. But, you know, when you got to put up 45 to 50 points to win because your defense is so horrible. It's not so much you can do. So I think they, they have kind of come to terms with the fact that this thing is over for the season. So if you can get little pieces here and there, traffic here and there to kind of, to kind of build for next season, then, you know, that's what they're going to do. Mentally to me, I, I, it feels like they've checked out. I'm not going to say they have There's still a lot of season left, but it feels that way. Uh, we talked about it last week. You know, you can criticize the coaching all you want. Coaching has very little to do with your effort. You have to want to play week in, week out. And I know some people are like, oh, the, you know, they in shootouts every week. That's demoralizing. Well, you're in shootouts because your, de your defense hasn't given an effort from the start of the game. Your, your defense yeah. hasn't come out to play. You know, the guys you're paying the most money to, like Zeke, who continues to drop passes and fumble, are stinking up the joint, you know. And for all the talent they have on their team, you and I both said it in, in the preseason uh, preview that we did, that we thought that they were the best team in the NFC East based off talent. They haven't shown that. And I've seen more effort from the Giants this year. I've seen more effort from Washington this year. I've seen more effort from other teams that have less talent than them who week in, week out are trying to compete. It doesn't always go your way, but teams are trying to compete. The Carolina Panthers don't have the type of talent that the Cowboys have. Yet every week, Teddy Bridgewater has his team in contention to win a game. So the Cowboys, it, it may be coaching, but I think it's a number of issues there, and it starts from the top. Jerry Jones has to figure out what he's doing wrong as an owner and why these type of things always happen to the Cowboys. Because if not for two really fluky comebacks, the comeback against Atlanta and the comeback against the Giants, the Cowboys would be 0-7 right now. That's how bad they've been this year. And yeah. whether they've mentally checked out or not, whether they feel, hey, we, we just are a game away from getting this turnaround, the effort needs to be better. And I need to see guys out there who are running around as if this means everything to them. 
Don't wait till the last four weeks of the season and now start showing effort when you can show it now. Exactly. Um, you know, but I mean, I mean, I, I laugh at this because again, it's, it's, it's Dallas. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the defense has definitely have to, have to get that together. They got to figure something out. You can't just, I mean, it can't be every, every year now. It's, it's the coach's fault. It's not ever the player's fault. You gave Demarcus Lawrence this big contract, and he has not come anywhere close to living up to the amount of money you just paid him. Um, you know, it's I don't I, I hope it, it's not about to be an Albert Hainsworth situation where he got all that money and then that was just it. He was washed after that. Um, but shoot, if this thing get any worse, we we might get to that point. So. I, it's tough, man. I don't know, but I who 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 are you taking in this game? You got are you going are you going to Eagles or Cowboys? I'm, I'm, in the battle I'm, of the trash cans. Yeah, um, I'm taking the Eagles. Um, one because they're at home, and two because they actually have their starting quarterback. Who I think Carson Wentz hasn't played bad this year. I just think that the injuries have mounted, and we talked about that too in the preseason preview that they were a team that because they're so hurt on a consistent basis you never get a real gauge of what this team could be. You know, Deshaun Jackson's out again. Jalen Rager, who is a high draft pick for them, is out again. Uh, they got old line issues. They got defensive line issues. Um, but I, I got the Eagles winning the game. I will say the Eagles, again, have been more competitive than Dallas. The Eagles have lost some games late. Um, they, they, they fought tough against Pittsburgh, and they lost that game late as well recently. So I, I'll take Philly, and I think this becomes a game that might propel them to win the division because – Quite frankly, the division is trash, as we talked about, man. You know. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 